Okay, this video is going to be about my Firefinder panel, updating it via my computer. Okay, what I'm doing now is that I've got it plugged into my computer, down there into my USB, um, and I've just updated with a new software. So I'm receiving application software and it's 36% done. And yeah, just waiting for that to do. And over my computer, it's a special software called Config Manager version 5. Um, and it's uploading it to my panel. And this is not just to not to program it with all the zones, but instead to update the software and op the CPU on my panel. See, the panel, my panel is basically like a computer. It's got the flash memory and everything there, and all the CPU. And I just stuffed my thingo because I unplugged it. One second. Okay, so anyway, just updating my panel. And the changes I've made since the last video are I programmed the bell to be the auxiliary out output, so that means it only goes off if it's a confirmed real alarm so it won't be annoying all the time so I've replaced it with external bell for isolate and external bell active it's got its own LED and so yeah and that's my warning system and on my next video should be I've almost finished wiring upstairs actually I'll go show you what I've done so far now so I'm wiring up my whole house and that's where my panel is going to be by the way um, and if you come around here into the study, well, I'll show you what things I've got in my room first. I've got the core point still, I've got the sounder up there, sounder strobe, and it's onto Australian standard settings. That's net screwed into the wall. Um, and then my study, I've still got the spectra strobe only. And then that hole goes directly into the back of my panel. One of the wires is going up to the spectra, and one of them is going down onto the study power board. And there's a smoke up there. And then when I wire up my whole house, which I'll be doing this weekend, I'll go through those tubes down the conduit into the panel. So I'll show you upstairs. Okay. Upstairs I've actually got almost all the detectors in. Or the bases, I haven't put the heads on yet, but anyway. Go through the kitchen. Up there's going to be one detector. Still need to put it in, the base at least. Then this is the kitchen area. There's going to be a speaker there, um, a heat over there, and then continuing down the hallway, there's going to be a smoke there, um, and then into the bathroom. There's going to be a heat there, there's another speaker there, and then in those rooms there are another speaker and detector for each of them. Okay, so I'll go back down to my panel. Oh yeah, and forgot about that. And also, I'll be putting a core point on that wall just there. Okay. My hole. Okay, let's see if this is done yet. Computer's gone blank. Power transfer complete. Yep, that's done. Okay, now I need to go. Okay. And uh, go application mode. G. A. Enter. Um, that should be in the application mode. Yep. And then we need to go send file to panel. Um, which one have I got? Home, 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 home. My documents. House to this one. Open up. Finished, that was really quick. Anyway, I'm now going into normal mode, forgot the code what that is. 
Hang on a second, let's have open that up. Oh, be quiet. Anyway, so my panel's received the data. Uh oh. Check some error with configuration. Okay, I know what I did wrong. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I've just uploaded this file. And it's got all the zones you can program in, what the description is, and what type of zone they are. So those are the ones I want. And I've already put it on there. So now I need to go into. to reset the panel, type GD. No, is that the wrong one? Let me check. GA. Go application, GA, and the panel should reboot. And then it's installing, and then it's back to normal. And as you can see, I have changed the message. It now says on the top line, protecting the Turner household 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. System is normal. So that's how you upload software to the FireFinder. And it was via the com support cable, which was in there, and onto this chip here. Let's take that out. Okay, so it's all updated. So now if we go to zone 1, which was corrupted last time, it should work. Zone 1 display. Yeah, it works. More areas upstairs. And then, so I program them all in from the computer. So you can go zone one, two, six, display. Okay, zone one, all areas upstairs, downstairs bedroom, study room, electrical board, fire drill switch, and front manual, manual call point. That's what I programmed on the computer. So, thanks for watching my video on uploading software to the panel.